So please, uh, let's go ahead and bring up your anchor for Team T. Please welcome Kevin Allison. Folks, I am so honored uh, to have been asked to defend tea today, a subject about which I am not at all completely indifferent, <laughs> and a subject I have thought long and hard about in the latter part of this afternoon. <laughs> the truth is I do have some negative thoughts and feelings on the subject of coffee. For example, I have had about 10 cups of coffee every day for about 40 of my 54 years now. So on the one hand, I would argue it does seem to be a somewhat addictive substance. It makes me jittery. Uh, it has been said it doesn't taste very good. And I still want more. That's like an abusive relationship. And don't blame the victim. Also, all that coffee drinking has left me no time in this life to drink tea, the very substance I was assigned to be defending in this debate. When the producers asked me to be on Team Tea, I thought, not only do I not drink tea, I don't know shit about it. Except that Snapple used to put fun facts on the undersides of the bottle caps. Does coffee give you fun facts? No, but you know what it can give you if you have enough of it? Diarrhea. <laughs> That's when I realized there is someone we all know and love who I could turn to for help with this presentation. Someone who shares my lack of experience with drinking tea, but who knows a lot about tea nevertheless. In fact, tea is his last name, his first name is Chat GP. <laughs> That's right, I decided that Chat GBT is a dude because he's emotionally unavailable and he has an obsessive fetish for explaining. <laughs> Chat GBT told me in 1908, American tea merchant <laughs> Thomas Sullivan accidentally invented the tea bag when he sent samples of tea to his customers in small silk bags. But Chap GPT was not amused when I replied, that's funny, because in 1999, gay men like me were spilling so much tea about how much we love to do what at that time we started calling tea bagging. <laughs> we accidentally invented Urban Dictionary. Jad GBT told me that in Tibet, tea is often brewed with yak butter, creating a savory beverage known as pocha. But Chat GBT had no comment when I said I'd be yakking too with butter in my tea. <laughs> Chat GBT told me the Titanic, which sank, and he didn't even give me a spoiler alert on that. <laughs> he said the Titanic, which sank in 1912, had over 8,000 pounds of tea on board, which makes me wonder, are we sure it was an iceberg that took that motherfucker down? As opposed to maybe just overpacking? I asked Chat B GBT to name me some famous songs about tea, and lo and behold, among the 10 songs, it replied one was one of my favorite Bob Dylan songs. Unfortunately, it was one more cup of coffee. <laughs> Remember, chat GPT is like a dude, loves to explain, often just wrong. <laughs> I asked chat GPT, what are some jokes about tea? I'd like to run one by you <laughs> to see if anyone in this room gets it. Ready? Okay. What is T's favorite type of music? Hip hop. Says, no, none of us, none of us get this joke. I think that joke might have been written by Salvador Dali. I think ChatGPT has a lot to learn about the surrealists yet. Didn't know what it was up against there. I asked ChatGPT, what are some things people use tea for other than drinking? He said, pest control. <laughs> Sp spraying brewed tea around the home repels cockroaches and other insects. 
If that's true, that is indeed a fun fact, but not one that gives me a hankering for a cup of tea. I asked, what other uses could be made of tea? He said, catapult ammunition. <laughs> Rolled tea bags can be used as ammunition for catapults or slingshots. I'm surprised no one's brought this up yet. <laughs> the great thing about tea is you can grab a bunch of it and throw it at someone. <laughs> I asked Chap GPT, what are some common fallacies about tea? This was a shocker. He said, tea can't cure all ailments. <laughs> While tea has been associated with some health benefits, it's important to <laughs> seek medical advice for serious health concerns. <laughs> Finally, I asked if there were any ways that tea is superior to coffee. Sure, he said, lower caffeine, more variety of flavors, more health benefits, better for hydration, less acidic, fewer calories, less teeth staining, more digestive benefits, better for relaxation, better for improving focus, lower in cost, more environmentally friendly, more culturally significant, anti-inflammatory, more likely to help with weight management, better for your skin, less likely to cause jitters, better for your kidneys, better for your gums, more likely to fight off bacteria, more likely to alleviate headaches, better for bone health, heart health, gut health, and mental health, and unlike coffee, tea can be enjoyed hot or cold. Again, chat GPT, lots of explaining, often just wrong. In conclusion, what I did learn here that I will remember long into the fusion, into the future is nothing, except for this, that no matter how politely you ask, no matter how often you ask, no matter how cleverly you word it, no, no matter how much you insist that you are actually a sociologist researching the behavioral science related to human reproduction, ChatGPT will still refuse to comment in any way about one of my favorite ways to pass the time other than having a cup of joe, and that is, of course, the practice of teabagging. <laughs> oh, and you know who is a good rapper? Iced tea. <laughs> and so along with ChatGPT, I rest my case. <laughs>